Hello everyone, welcome to Design 30. Today I just wanted to discuss Fitz Law real quick, which I recently released an episode on. And this is just to provide a little bit more visual to what I discussed in the episode. So Fitz Law basically says that something that is farther away and smaller is going to take more time to acquire or to press the button than something that is closer and larger. So what does that look like as a formula? It's T, which is time, equals A plus B times the log base two of distance over width, also you could call that size, plus one. So what is this equation saying? Well, first of all, A and B are constants that can be adjusted depending on what you are actually using, such as your hand or a stylus or even a laser pointer. So we can ignore those for now. What's gonna be really important are these two variables right here, D and W. D equals distance and W equals width. So, obviously looking at this equation, you can see if W or width is larger, then this number overall is going to be smaller, which means less time. And in application, that is less time to acquire the target or less time to press a button, something like that. You can also see D right here, if that's larger or if it's a farther distance, then this whole number is going to be larger. So it's gonna take more time to acquire the target. And let's just show a quick example of that. Let's say we have an emergency stop button that's this size. This is our emergency stop button on a piece of heavy equipment. So it's really important that you're able to hit the emergency stop for safety reasons. If it's large, I can reach, touch that button, hit that button really easily. Now let's say it's this really little tiny button here. Well, the distance hasn't really changed, but being able to hit that button specifically is going to take more time. First, there's time associated with just moving to the general region, and then there's time associated with homing in on the actual button. Sometimes if it's so small, it's going to be easy to reach past it, maybe undershoot it, and then finally hit that button. So in this example, you want something in a safety situation to take very little time to touch with very little air. So you want a larger button that is closer to you and that will reduce your overall time to target. And that's what Fitz Law is about. Thanks for watching.